Hey everybody, welcome back to another What's For Dinner. This time, we have three meals, all no meat. Where's the meat? There is none. First up, we have Instant Pot Black Bean Chili. All right, y'all, it is time to cook supper, and it's thundering it like crazy outside. The good thing is, this supper only takes like 20 minutes to make. 20 minutes. All right, y'all, here we go. This is very easy. They're in there playing music, so. Since it is another rainy day, we're gonna be making chili, but this is black bean chili. The first thing I'm putting in is a 15 ounce can of black beans, and I drained these and rinsed them. Now we have a can of corn, and I drained it also. I'll put a link for the recipe where I found this down below. I'm changing it just a little bit. Joel and Aldra are playing something in the background. Manly's trying to escape his barricade. They've got him. Oh, he already escaped. They had him blocked in the living room, but he has now escaped. All right, we're putting in a can of diced tomatoes, but we're not draining these. We're putting in this whole can of green chilies. Now I'm putting in this diced onion. Sounds like they're working out an ending to a song because they're doing the same thing over and over. Now we're putting in some garlic. I'm gonna add in just a few of these roasted red pepper strips. I'm gonna drain them off of the juice. All right, now we need a half a cup of chicken broth. The recipe actually called for vegetable broth, but I don't have any, so I'm using chicken broth. Okay, had to get the taco seasoning out. Now we put in taco seasoning. I have this big container, but it needs to be about the same as a pack of taco seasoning, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that. All right, y'all, that's it. That is it for this black bean chili. Now we put the top on. We are sealed. We're gonna put it on bean and chili at high pressure, but we only need to do this for four minutes. And that's it. How did you escape, little boy? Yeah? You came to your high chair, you know you get food when you get in there, don't you? Is that where you wanna go? You want food? I definitely think he'll be walking before he's a year old. Cause he's already cruising around in the living room. Yeah. Moving from couch to couch. He's gonna be the earliest walker, that's for sure. None of the other kids walked until they were all over a year old. some cheese on top. I'm just using mild cheddar and Monterey Jack. Some sour cream and some green onion. This is so good, y'all. I actually had my doubts about this one. I did not think I would like black bean chili, but I promise you, this is really good. You don't even miss that there's no meat in here at all. Very cheap, very easy, very fast, and very good. Black bean chili, five stars. What do you give it, Cece? She didn't like it, so we're gonna have to go with a four star on the black bean chili. Everybody liked it except Aldra and Jacob, but the rest of us really loved it, especially when you put the toppings on there and scoop the chips. So good, but that's not the best one. The best one is coming right now. Mushroom, Philly, cheese, steak, subs. He's, he's jerking my hair out. Okay, here we go. On to the next one. Tonight, we're gonna be having, I'm making some tea right now. Tonight, we're gonna be having Philly cheese, not steak, but mushroom Philly cheese subs. Instead of steak, we're gonna be using portobello mushrooms. Here we go. I have these portobello slices right here. We need a red pepper, we need a green pepper, we need onion, we need sharp cheddar cheese, and we're gonna be using pepper jack for our sandwiches, but you can use, um, what's that other cheese called? Provolone, yes. We don't really like that kind, so we usually always substitute for pepper jack or either mozzarella or something. Garlic powder onion powder and we're going to be using this steak seasoning right here you can use any steak seasoning 
that you want to use but I have this kind it's actually ranch style steak seasoning I thought I had a steak fajita seasoning up here but I can't find it we need olive oil Worcestershire sauce all right that is all we need now Oh, and the sub rolls, of course. And I'm going to be putting some french fries in the oven in just a minute. The first thing we're going to do is now that I've sat everything on here, I'm going to take it off. It's kind of loud behind me. They're playing games back there. Okay. We're going to take some of our olive oil and go ahead and drizzle it into this pan over here. And we're going to go ahead and start cooking the mushrooms. They're going to take about 8 to 10 minutes in there. I already washed them off. We're going to put them in this bowl. I have more mushrooms in this. I have another pack in there, but I actually don't think I'll need the other pack because we're going to have onions and the peppers and cheese on there. And we've got french fries, so I'm thinking I'll only need this one pack of the mushrooms. I've changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead and put a few more in here. Now, these aren't actually exactly the same, a little smaller. I'm going to go ahead and wash some of these up and add them in too. So we're going to shake on the steak seasoning, garlic powder. I have a feeling these are going to be good. Titus made some stuffed portobello mushrooms a few weeks back, and I'm normally not a mushroom lover. I just don't really like mushrooms, but those were so good. So when I saw this recipe for portobello mushroom Philly cheese steak subs, I was like, we need to try that. Onion powder and the Worcestershire sauce. Now there's also, there was also another ingredient. What was it? Um, on the recipe, but I don't have it, so I'm skipping it. I can't remember exactly what it was, but we're skipping it. Got these well coated in the seasoning. We're just gonna put these straight over here in the pan with the olive oil. The oven's ready for the fries. I'm gonna stick them in real quick. These mushrooms are just gonna cook over here in the pan by themselves for about eight to 10 minutes. While these are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and wash and chop up our peppers and onion. So the mushrooms have been cooking now for about 10 minutes. We're going to remove them from the pan. I'm going to put in just a little bit more olive oil, just a little. We're going to put in all the peppers and onions. Now we're just going to let these cook for about 8 to 10 minutes. Go ahead and put the mushrooms back in. All right, I'm putting in almost a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. I probably that was probably about a cup there. <laughs> we're gonna mix this all in until the cheese melts. Now we're gonna take our sub rolls here, cut them open. All the younger kids don't like for their bread to really be toasted very much, so just doing these first three. If they want it toasted, we'll just load it up again here and toast them. We're gonna take some of the mushroom mixture over here. Just gonna put it right into the rolls. If you actually just glance, it even looks like there really is steak on there. Now we're gonna take our slices of pepper jack and I'm just gonna break them in half and lay them just like that. I'm gonna brush the tops of ours with just a little bit of softened butter and we're gonna stick these in the oven at 400 degrees. We've got our french fries in there. So we're just gonna stick these right in there with the french fries for five minutes, just five minutes, and then we're gonna pull them right back out. This one got five stars. Five stars. If, if there was a 10 star rating, it would get 10. I promise y'all, I don't even like mushrooms, do I? Tell them. Well, I'm stars here. I'm telling you right now, that thing gets five. <laughs> I don't even like mushrooms. I really actually hate mushrooms. Really good. I mean, but, you get that meat feeling, you know? Yeah, because it kind of, those mushrooms, when you cook them up, they almost have that. Not really, I don't want to say chewy, but they no, al they almost have a meat texture. They give texture. that meat feel in there. I mean, yeah, for you, sure. Yeah, you don't miss that you there's want, no you meat. You don't know that the meat ain't there, really. Mm -mm. I mean, and I don't like mushrooms, but I love these. Like, I would definitely eat and make these again. Super They're really good. good. The last one is Titus's favorite. Y'all remember when we used to call him Taco? Tacos.
All right, it's time to cook supper. And do y'all remember that day when I had this all organized? Remember that when that happened, when I switched the canned foods from over here to over there and I was like, this is gonna be so much better. It has worked out so much better for the canned food side, but over here, not so much. And the reason for it is I can have it nicely organized. You know, all the pans nested together, very good and all, but when the older boys cook something or put away the dishes for me, they don't nest very well, do they, sissy? <laughs> okay, tonight is gonna be a very, very easy supper. We need, we don't need this, but we've gotta move this so we can get to what we do need. We need this one? Uh, we don't need the toaster tonight. Can you get that red one out? Thank you. This is one of Titus's favorite meals for supper or lunch or any time of day and he's gonna help me make it. i tell you what, I had a, uh, a while back, one of my good Mexican buddies gave me a taco. And mm -hmm. I sat there eat that thing about halfway and I was like, Amanda, what kind of meat's in this thing, old buddy? And he told me, there ain't no meat in it, it's just peppers and cheese. What kind of meat did you feel like it was, steak? I didn't know Did you what, feel like that pepper had transformed into steak? I was feeling, but I know <laughs> one thing. I don't know if it's just cause I was so hungry, yeah. You know, we're about to make tacos. You don't have to have meat, and uh, we're gonna show you how to do that. You right also now. don't have to have anybody to tell you if your wife accidentally got bleach on your pants. <laughs> Listen, let me tell y'all something about bleach. Do not buy bleach. Because somebody's gonna go get a wag, uh, not a wag, but a rag. <laughs> somebody's gonna go get a rag with some stinking bleach on yes. it. I stay up late at night a lot of times, like, I hope I don't throw no bleach on it. <laughs> This uh, is always his clothes too. Why is it always his? Fight me. <laughs> Here I am too. I got the two pair of pants. What happened? Now I know which ones we. <laughs> what happened this time? Give me the spider ones. Is the little? It's a little bottle of bleach, like little. And somebody moved it off. Of, for some reason, it was sitting on top of the deep freezer. Somebody moves it off the deep freezer, sits it into the dirty clothes upside down. And a little leakage happened. See, if you put your hand in your pocket, you never know. Well, that's what I'm saying. All I gotta do is, like, when I get ready to talk to people, I'll be like, "Hey, y'all doing? <laughs> y'all doing that?" Yeah. Can you help me with this one? Cause somebody ripped off this little page right here with the wool. Oh, on it. okay. Well, that's gonna be a little difficult. She wants me to help her with this word search, but we don't have the words that we're supposed to be looking for. <laughs> Let's see. I might can find some words in here real quick. It looks like hooves is gonna be one word. Hooves and let's see. Maybe do one with the words. Will that be better? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that one. And that's gonna be a good one. It's she's baking cookies. All right, I know that we need cheese. We need this mild cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. We need to put the top on the bologna. Get you some bell pepper, some onions, a little bit of cilantro. That avocado right there will work good with this deal. And you can make yourself a good taco with no meat. All right, y'all, these get four stars. Four. <laughs> there ain't no falling stars here now. <laughs> I knew he was gonna There's be ain't like, no shooting what? star program. The kids don't absolutely Baby, them love them. Baby, five. I'm telling you right now, them things are good. The kids don't absolutely love them, but um, we like them, and they're really, they are good. If you like vegetables, you really can't tell that the meat's not there. Yeah, they are really good, but yeah, the kids, these aren't a big hit with the kids, but with right. the adults, they were really good. They hit it, I mean, it was home run. All right, y'all, that's it for this week's What's for Dinner. Thank y'all so much for watching. Mr. Manly, oh my gosh, he's trying to eat my hair now. Okay. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you're having for supper tonight. What are you having? He's looking at the microwave. Is there something in there for you? Huh? Which one? See y'all tomorrow.